my birthday. And I get to bring you my very favorite video of the week. Happy Monday, you guys. Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. Tips for all shades of a mom life. And I am back today to share with you guys my absolute favorite video to film all week, and that is my grocery haul that I share with you guys every Monday here on the channel along with my meal plan. And it is my absolute favorite video to film because I am a grocery store junkie, and I know that most of you that stop here are one too. So you're definitely my kind of people. Speaking of my kind of people, I want to say a huge thank you out there to everybody. You guys are amazing. And this past week, it was my four year YouTube anniversary. It's my birthday today. It's my anniversary on Wednesday. You guys have just been amazing with all the comments and the happy birthdays and the well wishes and the sweet words. So I haven't got a chance to write back to everybody yet, but thank you so much to everybody who continues to keep reaching out. You guys make me feel amazing and you are the reason why I keep coming back every Every day to share these videos with you guys. All right, speaking of videos, where are we at for today? So this week I went to two stores. I did Sam's and Walmart, which are ultimately the same store. And Sam's Club I did pretty good. That was my scheduled grocery stop for the week. And I spent about $278, which was pretty good because I had one purchase that was just 60 bucks. So I feel like I did pretty good. I have all the prices popping up on the screen for you guys. So I have Sam's Club to share with you. And I did get gas there. So this is my second time in a row when I went there for the month stopping to get gas. Comment down below and let me know what your gas is in your area. But I filled my entire tank for 25 bucks at just $1.59 a gallon, which is almost 15 cents cheaper than the gas station on the corner. So I have to keep in mind to travel down just a little bit further and get gas from Sam's Club because I was extremely impressed with their prices. And then I also did a Walmart grocery pickup. So I needed a few things that I couldn't get at Sam's Sam's and so I decided to do a little bit of a pickup but a lot of these things were Ibotta provoked so if you guys do not know what Ibotta is but it's a rebate app where you just select items that are on sale and then you scan in your receipts and they give you back the rebates for them and I've been an avid Ibotta user for a very long time I'll pop up a little picture right here that shows you what my like lifetime savings is with Ibotta I love them and my link is always in the description box if you guys want to join my team I love having people on my team Team so I can see how you guys are saving because it'll send you a little notification how your friends and your team are doing for the month. So I love checking in and seeing how everyone is doing couponing, but there were a lot of things that we buy regularly that had a rebate on them. And I love when that happens. Sometimes it's not necessarily things I would use, but maybe things I want to try, or maybe I don't have any rebates because nothing's what I want to use. But when it's stuff I actually would have in my cart anyways, I love that. And I saved a good chunk of money this time. So I'm really glad that I went on to Ibotta and I ended up placing, like I said, my little Walmart grocery pickup order and everything worked out great. So I think my total altogether was about $375. That was between my gas, my purchase inside of Sam's and my little Walmart grocery pickup, but that doesn't include any of the rebates and savings that are still coming in. So make sure you check the description box for the exact breakdown. But for now, you guys, enough jibber jabbering. You guys, know I love to talk but it's my birthday and I'm in a good mood so let me take you down to the counter to the kitchen let's see what I got at Sam's or what I got at Walmart and then we'll get into this week's meal plan Okay, you guys, here is a quick overview of this month's Sam's Club haul, and I think I did pretty good for what I got, considering there's 60 bucks sitting right there. So between this and gas, I got out for a little over 300. So I think that is pretty good, and this stuff should last us a, a good long while. Uh, super small produce section. We still have a lot of carryover, and I want the kids to finish what we have instead of me continuously every single week replenishing and then things get tossed so I'm not about that we've been living off of smoothies lately because the second that any kind of fruit gets down to where it's not 
edible that way anymore that I'm throwing it in a blender with yogurt and stuff. And so, like I said, this time I just went a little minimal on the produce. So I did get a 12 ounce thing of the Driscoll raspberries. They looked beautiful and the price was right. So I got that. I got one bunch of bananas and then I got one of these green seedless grapes. They only had green and red, but these ones say Autumn King. So I don't know if this is like a grape that's specific to the autumn time because it's not the brand. That's the brand so who knows we're going to give those a try once i go ahead and wash them up and then just one thing of block cheddar because we still have some from costco so i went ahead and got that i was happy to see the three pounds container of sour cream instead of that big five pound container so i went ahead and got that guy i just got one gallon of milk and then still a super good price on the butter so i went ahead and got that again and this is for one pound boxes so it's four pounds of butter for that seven dollars and change which is a great price uh this was on rollback for a dollar off i don't think i needed it but during the holiday season i do a lot of baking with cream cheese i make cookies that are specifically made with cream cheese they're called cream cheese cookies they're my grandma's cookies i've actually shared them a long long time ago on my channel but they're super super good and they take two blocks of cream cheese so this is a four pack and this last i think this said good until january or february so this will last for a while when it's on sale i definitely love to grab it so grabbed that grabbed our mission carb balance tortillas we were out of those and then a little pricey on the eggs you guys I, usually these are like five dollars for five dozen but they were up to like seven and change still not a bad price for five dozen large eggs but i was a little surprised to see that it had, it had gone up by two dollars so that's kind of a lot when they were only five to begin with that's like a 35 or 40 percent markup so i was surprised to see that but i still love these eggs for the price so we grabbed those and then I grabbed these because I felt like it was fate. I had seen these in Costco and they had the bigger ones or maybe these are the bigger ones and they also have smaller ones. I don't know. There's two sizes, like a larger one and a smaller one and Costco had both of them. And when I went to Costco with Vanessa last time, I grabbed these and I was like, Paul loves Belgian waffles. Like if we go out to a restaurant or something, he would order Belgian waffles like as his breakfast. So when I saw these, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll surprise him and pick those up for him and then I went back and forth and I had the big ones in my hand and the small ones in my hand but I spent $525 at Costco so I was trying to cut corners where I could and I decided not to get them and then when I was coming around the corner at Sam's there was just like a few of these on an end cap left and I was like all right now they're even in Sam's Club too. These things must be amazing. So comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried them and if you have how you serve them. But I just know that he absolutely loves Belgian waffles. So I know that he will love those. So I picked those up. We need some maple syrup. So we got the Members Mark Organic Maple Syrup. And I thought that was a really good price under $10 for this. And what is this? How many? Oh, this is a quart. Yeah, $10 for a quart. That's a really good price. I cannot wait to see my family again and let them uh, give me some of the maple syrup from up there. It's just not worth it to ship it. This stuff is so heavy. So for them to ship it to me, like it costs more than for me to just buy maple syrup somewhere else. But I miss the syrup from our family's farm so much. So we just got this for now. And then I got the ketchup. I think I still have one more from the three pack that I got from Costco like a month and a half ago. But Costco isn't carrying the Heinz anymore. They used to carry the Heinz Simply, which was my favorite. And then and now they're carrying Hunts. And so I needed ketchup last time and I picked up the three pack of Hunts and we're not huge fans of it. So again, I don't know if we're down to the last bottle or if we still have one more, but the fact that I saw a three pack of Heinz and it's not even the Simply, I still went ahead and picked it up just because I know my family prefers those ones. And then I did go ahead and get a big thing of mayo. I make tons of dress things here and stuff and so we always go through tons of mayo all right i'm going to skip down here really quick to the bottom just so i don't trip over these things i got two six packs of our purified drinking water we just use this for the coffee pot it just works out so much better the new house that we're going into doesn't have an aqua sauna which was that in-house water filtration system that i had at my old house but they do have something similar it wasn't aqua sauna but they had a water spigot there i should have looked underneath the sink to see what brand name it was but they already have one so that really excites 
excites me because then once we move into the new house, I won't need to buy these anymore. We'll have the good water, but for now, I keep buying the six packs and they're inexpensive. It's under $4 for six gallons of water. So um, I went ahead and got two of those and then I got a two pack of the white distilled vinegar. I use that to clean all of my fruits and veggies and it also goes in my laundry. So we definitely go through a fair amount of white vinegar. So we got that back up here to the meat section. So I mentioned to you guys that today is my birthday. And so for dinner, I think that we're going to do this steak. I hadn't really planned anything. And on Wednesday, it's my anniversary. So we're going to order out that night because Daryl's off from work. And so we'll just do a big family eat out night for our anniversary. But being that he's working today, um, I just went ahead and picked out something I can cook here, but something that I really enjoy. So Paul is actually going to go get takeout from Red Lobster and get my coconut shrimp because that's my favorite. And then we'll do coconut shrimp with these delicious prime rib steaks and that just sounds so so good to me like a really good steak and shrimp dinner so I went ahead and picked that up and then they had a flank steak on sale which I thought was a really good price it's only marked down by a dollar 25 but I've mentioned that Sam's Club has great price on the meats anyway sorry there's kind of a glare I can't wait till we get to the new house the lighting is so much better Sorry, you guys. Can you tell that I'm excited? Um, so yeah, I thought this was a really good price. How many pounds is this? Two pounds, which is good, but it's still a temperature here worth barbecuing. So I picked up a nice flank steak for that. And then they had a sale on the Little Smokies. And the Little Smokies are just good for anything, even whether it's holidays, gatherings, or just, as I mentioned, we always do football Sundays here. And this is a, pr I'm imagining this is like a double Oh, it's three pounds. So that's like a triple of the ones that you get in the store. So that'll last a while. So got that, especially for the price. That was a good deal. Got two things of cold cuts and we tried these last time and we really liked them. They're very, very close to the castle wood and I loved the castle wood and this price is amazing. So I think the ham was under five bucks, like four and change. So this is the uncured honey ham. And then I believe the turkey was like five and change. And this is the honey roasted turkey breast. So we're gonna do sandwiches one night or maybe Monte Cristo's. I love getting ham and turkey for that. And then we got two big packages of the chicken. I didn't get the frozen this time because these were on sale for $1.78. And so I did not think that that was a good price. Actually, matter of fact, I don't even know if I saw the bag of a frozen chicken this time, but $1.78, again, that's even cheaper than Walmart. I always bought my chicken at Walmart and it's $1.99 a pound there. So for $1.78, I just went and picked up two. I think it's roughly about 12 pounds um, for those two packages, which will last us a little while. So I picked this that up and then I saw this and this was like seven and change or something I mean I'm popping up the prices but this is just off the top of my head and I thought it was pretty good because there's four separate boxes in here so there's a box of Ritz crackers and then there's a box of Triscuits there's a box of sociables and then there's also a box of Ritz whole wheat so four boxes I mean that's less than two dollars a box which I think is pretty good but I Again, always do appetizers and stuff on Sunday and then all the holidays and stuff are coming and we always do like charcuterie boards and cheese and crackers and fruit platters and all that. And I thought a nice array of crackers would be better than the fact that I always buy those plain old regular like Ritz crackers or the ones from Trader Joe's. So with this, we will not need crackers for the rest of the year. So I went ahead and picked that up. All right, you guys, you're going to see a array of this red and white checkered bag. So I have two of these and I picked these up last time. These are the Members Mark Southern Style Chicken Bites and there's three pounds in each bag. And I mentioned to you guys that I was told by Madison that these were an amazing dupe for Chick-fil-A nuggets. And I was never a huge Chick-fil-A fan, at least the ones in Carolina I didn't feel ever did me justice. And then when I came down here, I fell in love with Chick-fil-A. I don't know what happened. I definitely was converted and these I heard were a good dupe. So I picked them up last time. And if you guys saw my last grocery haul when I bought the waffles and I told you guys I was going to do chicken and waffles with these, I mentioned 
how amazing that these were. So if you shop in Sam's Club and you see these and you love Chick-fil-A, I promise you it'll be worth the money. I think these are $9.98 a bag. Again, I bought two of them this time because I want to make them all the time. I want to have some done in the refrigerator for meal prep so we can add them to salads just to grab to munch on. I'm sure they're probably not the greatest because they are breaded. It says lightly breaded and it does have rib meat, which I know is not like 100% white meat or whatever. I don't care. You guys, they are amazing. And if you look down here, it shows a pickle. I meant to look. Let's look together. So all it says in the ingredients is vinegar, but I taste like a pickle. Not a pickle. I can't explain it, but I feel like that vinegary aftertaste that the Chick-fil-A nuggets have, these have. And they're just so delicious, you guys. So I picked up two bags. We'll probably go through all two bags before I go back to Sam's Club again next month because these really were super amazing. So I highly recommend those. And then because those were so good, I went ahead and got the Southern style waffle fries because those are also supposed to be a Chick-fil-A dupe. So I think one night we're literally just going to do a at home Chick-fil-A dinner. And so I'm super excited about that. So I got those and it's going to be worth every penny. I promise you. All right. I'm stepping on these and I don't want to mess them up, but I got two of these dog beds. So I mentioned to you guys that this was like $60 right here because I believe they were like $29.98 or something like that a piece. But in our new house, the downstairs is all tile, but the upstairs, including the stairs, is carpet. Now, the people who own this house right now, they are actually military and they're being relocated to another area, which is why they put their house up on the market. And I am super impressed with this house because it is so clean and including their carpet. And every house that I looked in that had carpet, we were going to have to rip a carpet out. Unless it had just been replaced, we kept walking through saying, okay, we'll have to rip out carpet. We'll have to rip out carpet. Not at this house. However, with both of my mutts, it won't stay like that forever. My kids know they're not allowed to eat and drink upstairs, but my dogs, their feet are dirty. Sometimes they pee upstairs when they're being spiteful and I won't let them sleep in my bed. That is not going to happen on my carpet. Like I'm just not going to allow it. So we're actually going to build a little barn gate door at the bottom of the stairs so that the dogs can't go upstairs. And at night, they're going to be forced to sleep downstairs on dog beds. They're going to hate me for it, but I do not care. Like I do not want any accidents on my carpet. And I was going to get them from Costco. I think at Costco, they're a little bit cheaper. Maybe they're 20 or $25. So when I went back to Costco next time, I was going to get them, but these are square and the ones at Costco are round. And I just feel where I want to put them in the house, in the back corner of the dining room, it would be easier for them to be squared off. So they kind of fit in the corners where I want to put them. But this, you guys, is so super soft. So I believe this is Members Mark brand. Yeah, Members Mark pet bed. It's 30 by 40 machine washable cover. So this cover comes off and I can toss it in the wash, which is great because, you know, dogs get stinky. And it says the has the large walls for added support and there's an anti- microbial odor eliminator chopped memory foam blends in the sleep area um, so I think these are going to be super comfy like they feel thick and soft and as soon as I brought them in the dogs already tried to lay on them so fingers crossed I can get them to stick to the dog beds and then wanting to go upstairs because they're totally not going to be allowed so sorry mutts I love you but you're not ruining my carpet all right, last few things. So I went ahead and got this again. It's under five bucks and it's a bag of tricks and a bag of cookie crisp. Jake really liked the tricks. The kids really like the cookie crisp. And so I just bent for it for the price just to have cereal in the house because my kids pour through cereal. So I got that. And then I was so happy to see this. This was a pretty good price, maybe under $8, like seven and change. And it's a three pack. So roughly about $2.50 or something each package, which is probably what it is in Walmart for one. But do you know how many times I try and get 
this exact stuff and they never have it so for the three pack i'm already thinking about all the different things that i can make with this i'll save one for thanksgiving but i know there's a really yummy like chicken and stuffing casserole that you put in the crock pot and i'm already thinking about when i go back to costco getting whole chickens and stuffing one with stuffing but this is the pepperidge farm herb seasoned classic stuffing and it's my favorite it's just a little pieces of bread with delicious seasoning in it but it makes for one heck of a good stuffing and I have an amazing stuffing recipe if you guys are looking for one so I'll link it up above for you guys but I promise you you will not be disappointed it is a sausage stuffing and it is simple but delicious all right last things and it's kind of the only snacks that I bought you can see and it's because I bought what my kids eat I keep buying all these other snacks and they'll eat them for like snack time or lunch but when dessert time comes and it's after dinner they are looking for ice cream and at Costco they only have that Nestle's pack it has the same things in it the cones the ice cream bars and the sandwiches I feel like my kids are kind of getting tired of it so I was looking for a bulk alternative and I couldn't find one I'm literally was stuck with the same things so there is 16 sandwiches 12 of the bars and eight of the cones Mason likes the cones they'll all eat the bars and Maya prefers the sandwiches so I mean I guess it's a safe compromise for everybody but I know they're just kind of getting bored of the same thing but it's just so much cheaper to buy in bulk and these are our only choices so I got that and then I did see these they had the chocolate caramel one, but we've already had that one before. They loved it. It was super good, but I saw that this one was new and we hadn't tried it. So it's s'mores and it's by the Bomb Pop brand and it's called Middles and it's a graham cracker frozen dairy dessert dipped in a chocolatey coating with a burst of marshmallow swirl in the middle. So that sounds super yummy. Like I said, they like the chocolate caramel ones, so I know they're going to like that. But that was it, you guys, for my Sam's Club haul. I'm going to roll you into the footage of the things that I got from Walmart, and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. All right, you guys, so there is my super small $68 haul. But like I mentioned to, to you guys, I think I'm getting back $12 or $13 or something like that if I hit any additional bonuses from Ibotta. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, again, some of these things were Ibotta provoked, but they're great deals, so I could not turn them down. Uh, so I just got one thing of strawberries. I needed strawberries to do chocolate covered strawberries for our Halloween themed lunches and I needed it before I was going to go to Sam's this weekend. So I just got a one pound container knowing that my kids can kill that in two days. But as you can see there's a substitution sticker on it. They didn't have a one pound so they substituted me a two pounds container. So I probably won't even get strawberries from Sam's. This will do us until you know next week or the next time I go to either Trader Joe's or Walmart so just got a two pound container of that this was and I bought a rebate a dollar back or 75 cents or a dollar back on the peppermint mocha coffee mate like this one explicitly but we get this one all the time and we're almost out of it anyways so grabbed that um, this is part of the reason why I placed this order to begin with but for a booze hack I needed some whipped topping and I forgot to get it last week when I placed my grocery order matter of fact I'm in the middle of filming this month's booze hack anyway so it's a coconut whipped cream and then a super simple crock pot cobbler recipe which is in here and then another really yummy dessert that needed whipped topping so I picked that up for that and I'm excited to share that with you guys and that will be up on a Friday and then I did go ahead and pick up some string cheese I needed this for their lunches also because I'm making a cheese stick ghost and we had no more cheese sticks so I just went ahead and picked up this for their lunches and then this was an I bought a rebate and I was like all right it's convincing me to pick it up. So this is pumpkin spice cream cheese. We love our bagels, our English muffins, our toast, and I'm pretty sure a bunch of us will like this pumpkin spice cream cheese. And if not, I'll use this for a recipe. So I have plans for this, but it was such a good deal and it's something seasonal. So I figured with the rebate and something seasonal, I would just pick it up because I know it's not something I can get in the future. Uh, both of these were Ibotta rebates also and I've been seeing these and eyeing them and then with the rebate it just kind of pushed me to try them but it's fine because 
I mention every Sunday that we do some kind of appetizer themed day. So this is teriyaki flavored cauliflower wings and they have a buffalo style and something else like a cheesy one and it was a dollar off and it made these two and change with I, which I thought was really good because this is a pretty big pouch you guys so it's going to make a decent amount for everyone to try and we do wings anyways and it's not that wings aren't healthy because I put them in my air fryer but it's just another way for my kids to get in some more veggies if Mason thinks this is like a chicken wing maybe he'll get down with it I don't really know um, but I'm kind of excited to give them a try because I've heard great things about them and then these are their crispy green bean fries. So I've mentioned a few times, I'm pretty sure, that I used to work at Fridays. I worked there for many years. I was head server, bartender, and I take a lot of my food knowledge and my love for food from TGI Fridays because I learned a lot from working there. And one of my favorite things that we had come out with on the menu while I worked there were their crispy green bean fries. And I believe they still have them to this day and they serve them with a wasabi ranch that was so good for dipping so every time I see these I get like a flashback to the times when I used to work there and with my ranch I think that would be really good as a side dish again for a football Sunday so I grabbed that also an Ibotta rebate. You guys, I'm telling you I was killing it with the Ibotta. Um, I just picked up some of the Gordon's beer battered fish fillets and we use these all the time for lunches, a quick dinner for the kids or something like that. So that was a no brainer for me. We still got fish sticks, but my family loves their fish fillets. Now this is what really pushed the cart being purchased today. I could have waited on the whipped topping to make that booze hack because you guys aren't going to see that till Friday. So I could have waited, but this could not wait. Being that today is my birthday, Jake wanted to be able to make special cupcakes for me. You guys are going to see that in a future video. He shared a recipe about a month back where he made like a little science experiment jello petri dish kind of thing and he had so much fun and you guys wrote so many amazing things about Jacob in the comments and he read every single one of them and he said see mom they want to see more of me. So he asked if he can use his cookbook again and make something for me for my birthday. So he chose galaxy cupcakes for from Rosanna Pacino's cookbook. So he gave me like a laundry list of things I needed to pick up for him to use to make me these cupcakes. Now I'm picking this up on Friday before you guys are seeing this. So he will have time to make these for me before today for you guys, which is my birthday. So this is a pack of 16 inch decorating piping bags. He needed that to pipe the frosting and then he needed a open star tip to pipe the frosting. So I picked him up that because all of my baking stuff is packed away in the storage shed. So I went ahead and grabbed him that. And then this, you guys, was 10 stinking dollars. Let me see if I can open it so you guys can see. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. This is all like the gel colors that you need to dye the frosting. And he wanted me to buy like six different colors. See, now I'm knocking stuff over. He wanted to buy like six colors to dye my frosting. And see, it's like these little containers of gel. And there's eight different ones in here and it was $10. It comes with a violet, a royal blue, a leaf green, a black, a lemon yellow, an orange, a pink, and a red. And he's still missing some of the colors that he wanted, but this is all he was getting because this was $10 right there, plus his bags that he needed, his tips. He needed special cupcake liners. They had to be black. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I needed some edible candy eyeballs for things that I'm doing for Halloween lunches. So I got that. And then he needed two containers of buttercream frosting. So I picked those up for him. And then these are the Brainiac Kids Smart Smoothies. And this was also an Ibotta rebate, not just a rebate. It was free for you to try them. In fact, I made two cents. So these were $2.97 on Walmart's website and Ibotta will give you back $2.99 if you try them. Each bottle is 25% less sugar. It has the omega-3s in there. I'm not even sure what that bottom were 
word is, but this is supposed to be really good for brain development. And with my kids and their learning, I am all about brain development. So I figured for free, we might as well give them a try. So I went and picked up the Starbucks cold brew. Now you guys usually never see me buy anything like this, but I am obsessed with the pumpkin cold foam cold brew from Starbucks. Like I absolutely love it. And when I was on Pinterest, I noticed that there is a way by using pumpkin puree and a few other ingredients, vanilla and heavy cream and whipping them up together that you can make the foam that Starbucks does in order to make this pumpkin cream cold brew. If that's the case and I can nail this, I will share it with you guys so you can see it, but I will live off of it because it's just so super amazing and I absolutely love it. And I saw the Starbucks cold brew and although this is pretty expensive and I could just brew my own coffee and put it in the refrigerator, I decided to get this one because the first time that I'm making it, I want to try and make it as authentic as possible. I want it to be the Starbucks coffee. I want to use it just like they said with all of their ingredients and see if I can duplicate it. So if I can, this mama is gonna be super, super happy. So I am very excited about that. And then I don't know what happened to my cap, you guys. Like pretty sure this normally has a cap. Check the whole car, all the bags. My dry shampoo does not have a cap. I just opened up my very last bottle and this is my absolute favorite one. And this was $2 off on Ibotta, which I thought was amazing because then it only made this five bucks, which that is so good for the big, huge bottle of this. So I was really excited and I went ahead and grabbed that. So almost $13, like I said, you guys, not including any additional rebates. So I think that's pretty good considering what everything costs. This will be just over $55. So that is not the end of the world. So that is it for now, you guys. Let's get into this week's meal plan. Okay, you guys, so here is the weekly meal plan for Monday, today, October the 19th, all the way through a Sunday, October the 25th. So as I mentioned, today is my birthday, and so we're going to do that surf and turf. I got those steaks. Paul's going to go get that coconut shrimp. I'm going to do some baked potatoes and some broccoli. I'll put the broccoli on my baked potato. My mouth is already watering. I am really, really excited. For tomorrow, we're going to do a manwich meal sloppy joe hash brown casserole in the crock pot. It is like a gigantic mouthful, but it sounds so good. And because most of it's in the crock pot, like cheesy potatoes and the sloppy joe, I'm just going to make a salad on the side. On Wednesday is our eight year anniversary. God, we've been together for so much longer than that, but we are married eight years on Wednesday. And so we are going to do an eat out date night thing. We're just going to eat out for the whole family on that night and then we will do our little date night box. So I'm really excited. Plus it's payday. So that's a good day. Um, on a Thursday, we're going to do Hawaiian chicken. That is a recipe I've had in my Pinterest for forever and I've never cooked it. So we're going to do that probably with coconut rice. So I'm excited. We'll do that on Thursday. Friday, I think nice and light and easy. I have a very busy weekend ahead. So I think we're going to do soup and sandwiches. I have those cold cuts. I usually do like egg salad and chicken salad and I'm probably going to do potato soup. I know I mentioned in my what's for dinner that I'm pretty much the only one who eats it. I mean Paul had a little, Daryl had a little, but no one's like over the moon about it. But nobody really likes soup in general and I like soup. This is soup season. So if I come up with something else I will. Maybe I'll do like a quick tomato soup or something like a roasted tomato soup. I had one of those from every plate also and they were really yummy. So maybe I'll pull the card for that. But I don't know. I just wrote soup there because I want soup and sandwiches and it's my week. So ha. Um, I got a bunch of pork, like a huge pork from Costco and I was able to get three pieces out of it. So I did the pulled pork last week and I think this week I'm going to cut it into nice sized pork chops and just bake them in the oven with good old mac and cheese and carrots. Everybody will love that. So I have that. And then on Sunday I had asked Maya when I was making my meal plan like, hey, what's your favorite thing to eat? And she said, anything that's pasta. Well, first she said spaghetti. And then I said, yeah, spaghetti, like with red sauce. And she said, no, any kind of pasta with anything on it. But all of my kids are pasta lovers. So you could definitely tell that they have some Italian blood. So we're going to do some chicken Alfredo with, you know, salad, 
def salad definitely won't be left over from Tuesday night. So I'll just have to make another salad. But we have plenty of stuff on hand for that. And that is it, guys. So a very busy and fun week, but lots of stuff to enjoy this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys always. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.